people counted us out. People said we couldn't do anything. Look, we are not walking out of here head down, not walking out of here. We, we, we lost, but we're not beaten. We lost, but we're not defeated. We really brought it together as a team these last eight games, and we were able to fight and put it together. I feel that a lot of these guys that are going to be here next year were able to put in a great fight to just build on what we have, you know, experience. Being out here in this tournament and know how it feels to lose is a feeling that you're going to build on going into next year. I'm Dave Rigger, voice of the Griffins, and I'm joined by Brett Weiberg, men's basketball coach at Missouri Western. And Coach, a 12-18 and 18 season, obviously record-wise not what you wanted. You did end winning 6 of 9. I guess put it in perspective, your thoughts on this season overall. Well, I'd say extremely inconsistent um, and did not play well early. Very proud of how we finished, proud of the kids that we were able to uh, keep moving forward and, 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 and persevering, so to speak. And, uh, and certainly we finished the season playing our best basketball. But does that give you a sense of confidence going into the off season, going into next year, the way you did finish and you, the way you guys kept competing with so many guys coming back? Well, I certainly feel like that uh, we had to finish that way. If we didn't, it would have been miserable, absolutely miserable. So um, I, it certainly lends towards having more confidence. I think the um, off season and, and, and the amount of work, the amount of um, commitment uh, that has to go into the off season and throughout the summer uh, will play play a huge factor in our success. Was the commitment that you're talking about, was it lacking a little bit yeah. last, last well, I think, season? Uh, I think it, it, in turn, not, no, no, I wouldn't say that. I would say that um, um, uh, the, the understanding, and, and this is 100% my job, of getting them to just play the right way. You know, I mean, we struggled for the first 13, 14 games of the year to make the right play. Other than uh, making shots late, uh, I think just the commitment to defending to the best of our ability every uh, every possession and and, uh, and and our commitment to making the right play. I mean, those were two huge factors. In, uh, other than making some shots, will you take a strong look at, at your roster as far as who will come back, who's not? Again, you just had one senior, but could there be a lot of turnover in this roster? Well, I think every coach, every coach, every player, every student athlete at this time of the season, you, you'll take the next couple weeks and, and and make sure that you know exactly how you're going to move forward and um, you know I don't anticipate a whole a lot of roster changes but uh, uh, but it, 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 this is the time to where you you have your meetings and you establish how, how you're going to move forward and and what it's going to take to 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 go from you know A to B and then finally to C and and uh, and we'll do that in the short term and again I don't anticipate a whole lot of roster changes but but we'll see how, how we move forward here in the next couple of weeks. And talk about recruiting a little bit obviously you just had okay. one senior so right. again probably not a ton of money but that right. can change as, as the offseason moves forward too. Right. But talk about recruiting and what you guys need to take another step. I know we need a power forward and when I say a power forward it could be a, it has to be someone Offensively, I'm not overly concerned with where they play, but they have to be able to defend a four and a five, a, a, a strong four, a strong five in this league. We know we need that. We know we need another score, you know, and, and probably a wing score um, to go along with one or two shooters and to go along with Miles and, and, and those guys. And so those are the two things we know we need, but we might uh, uh, be able to sign one or two more guys as, as we move forward as well. And I've asked you this question before, but is next year a big year with now yeah. having guys in your program yeah. for three years like Curry and right. Seth and Cole and Aaron now for a third year? Wes is going to be here all four years. Is, is, that, is, is next year a big year? Yeah, uh, I, you know, but I wouldn't hesitate to say this past year wasn't a big year. And uh, we certainly didn't meet my expectations. Our kids didn't meet the expectations they had set for themselves. And so um, just like this past year, and even more so, year, year number four with these kids will be, will be a big year in terms of if our program is going to move in the right direction or not.